how are you? How are you? Good to see you. Let me introduce you to Art Borinsky, the yes, assistant hello, president. Nice U.S. Marshal for the great state of New Jersey and a good friend of mine. I know. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, yeah I know you right. did it. You did that's it. That's right. No doubt about it. Yeah. But I, could you just uh, hold this one second and, and uh, do it that way so it'll, it'll uh, is that it? Mm -hmm. Is Thank it you. giving it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's that's, that's a unique, that is, that's appreciated. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Well, You're great, Mr. Right. President. See you soon. Take care. Right. Thank well. you. Keep up the fight. Bye-bye. Thank you for letting us see you. I said we got a lot of Tennesseans, but we've got one Californian in here for, for respectability. So. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. This is Mr. Jim Fisher. He's the Hi, Mr. President. The, nice to see just you. gone out as the National Good President of the Home Builders. And, uh, yes. and I'm a father for one week, first I time. I was going to say, yes. First time father. Didn't nice I did it fear once with your sure here? Yeah. Sure did. Yes. Yeah, sure did. All right. Thank you. In fact, I got a picture of it. I want you to sign yeah. for a chance. All right. <laughs> this is California. I'm a token California, Mr. President. Yes. How are you? He's the, one He's the president. He's the president of the National Home Builders. Good to see you. Oh, good Thank you a lot for the housing bill. I really oh, appreciate it. You signed that on my birthday, by the way, and I had a chance to see you do that. I appreciate that very much. <laughs> All right. By the way, we've got 200 builders over on the hill today. We're going to work to uh, help you sustain that veto on the civil rights legislation. And we've already started to hear backs uh, for some of the congressmen and senators, so maybe we'll be able to give you some help there. That's the, the uh, Grove City Hill. That's Grove correct, yes. Yeah. We'll, right with you on it. we'll give you all the help we can. All right. Hey, this is Dr. Storr from Memphis and yes. privilege. Oh, no. privilege and honor. Well, American Podiatric Medical Association. Uh, Please stand uh, Thanks so much for your time. Best of everything. This is Dr. Tunlin. He's from Dr. He's the National yes. President of the uh, American Optometric Association. Yeah. So we've, been, we've got a lot of presidents in Tennessee these days. <laughs> I could have a discussion. <clears throat> I'm now wearing one of my contact lenses. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. I found that group. group. The group, yes. We like that. Well, it's a uh, very near center. Uh, uh, the center. But at least that point that we can have lenses. It's not like a team. It's a better one. I would notice it. I'll look over there to see everything. It, it takes over and see what I can do. That's what I've done to my wife. It works. We're going to do a... Well, if you want to pop in the middle there, Mr. President, we'll get it right. Yeah. Howard, won't you get in? Yeah. You want? Oh, yeah, Howard. We'd like to have in here. Yeah, yeah. Come on. It won't hurt you back home, will it? <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Except for now, it's so temporarily Tennessee with three National Association presidents. Now we have a Californian in there. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Fisher just got a new baby in here to show you that. Now I said, uh, he's going, she's going to be a politician. Look at that mouth on. She's a cutie. Yes. I'd like to get you to autograph that on the back if you would. I would be very happy to. What's her first name? Her name is uh, Ashley. A S H L E Y. Ashley. Ashley. Oh, really? Yeah. Ashley Nicole. Yeah. 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 She's, she's a little doll. Week old today. I was a last week, and uh, make sure got the pastry torn up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't go down. 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 Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Okay, I guess we'll let you move on. the next one? I say, I, this is all our real expression. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. Thank 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 you. I would good to see you. If you get the knife, well, let me know. I'll be down there. My son lives down there. I know it. I don't want to see it. See you later. Hey, that's like a message from heaven about the civil rights bill tomorrow. All the builders are for it and are up there pr persuading Congress to sustain a visa. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay.
George Kapler, yes. honored to meet you, sir. Nice to see you. I think we ought to get a kind of a little okay. picture, and you ought to be there. Can you come in just a little tighter, sir? Thank you. Fred, you and I are the same height. Got Bevel on your right there. Same, same, the same weight. So I've been telling folks the first chance I got to ask you if you had any old suits out. <laughs> All right. I'm going but if it was only five days from now, I could say happy birthday to you. Oh, well. <laughs> you can sing it any time you like. <laughs> I'm going to be uh, having dinner with your old friend, uh, Willie Stewart, and uh, Bert Lancaster tonight. To oh, for him to uh, Looking forward to it. Well, 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 well tell, tell Jim hello for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nice to see you. Nice. Well, good to see nice. you. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. Well, I've been told that you've been very supportive. Yes. Thank yes, you. Sir. And uh, my youngest daughter said she would be available she July 2nd to see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was upset that she didn't. She, she's been wanting to come see you too. And she, well, I told her, I said, well, we'll tell, her, tell him hi for you. Well, you remind me. Wait a minute. What, what's her first name? Jessica. Jessica. Oh. Jessica. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. Bye-bye. Good to see you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good to see you. Bye -bye. Good to see you. Tom, take care. Yep. We'll see you later. And if you see Bob Jones, tell him I said hello. Yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you, sir. It's nice to meet you. Mr. President, nice to meet you. Good to see you. Mr. President, the Senator was delayed. Senator Warren was delayed and asked me to introduce you to John and to Shaney. Well, Something was missing here. <laughs> Why don't you go in the middle? Here? Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you. John, you have something you'd like to give to us? I'm going to present a copy of General Washington's Rules of Civility that he wrote when he was 14 years old and later found uh, years later in Mount Vernon. I would try to address it. I read about that, but you finally get behind a bureau drawer or something. Exactly. All exactly. of a sudden, they found the manuscript that the Mount Vernon mice had eaten nine of the rules from the manuscript, but uh, 101 were left. Well, for heaven's sakes. So I and you who have illustrated it. In the cartoon form, usually they were uh, published in typesetting and printing. And but he's taken us some very serious rules and made them very humorous. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you would enjoy this and some lightness of your day. Well, I sure will. Thank you very much. I'm very pleased and happy to have this. I want to present an original sample of my work, uh, a story I had read, uh, read in Presidential Anecdotes about your first job and how you landed it. Is that the, really the way it happened? Uh, yes, he wasn't on a microphone, though. He was sitting at his desk, and I really was saying it to myself on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, the canes are right. He was all very crippled with arthritis. And the elevator wasn't there, and I heard this thumping coming down the hall, and this voice saying, hold up your big <laughs> profane words. And I looked back, and it was old Peter MacArthur coming down there. And his first question was, uh, uh, what do you know, what was that you said about sports? I said, that's what I'd like to be. And he, he said, what do you know about football? I said, I played it eight years. He says, do you think you could tell me about a game if I was listening on the radio and make me see it? And I said, I think so. <laughs> so he took me in a studio, stood me in front of a microphone, said, when the red light goes on, I'll be in another room listening. You'll be in here alone. You start broadcasting an imaginary football game. And he came back in, and it's absolutely true. He said, be here Saturday. You're broadcasting the Iowa-Minnesota game. I'll give you $10 in bus fare. <laughs> Not a bad deal, then. <laughs> Well, were you nervous during the test? Describe well, the game. Well, I was thinking real fast. I knew I had to have names and so forth. So I remember this was just, I was just out of school. And the uh, following June had graduated. But in the following, in the preceding year, uh, I played in a, my last game in, in college there. And with 20 seconds to play, we ran a play that made a touchdown for about 65 yards in those 20 seconds, won the ball That's game. Right. And I thought, well, I'll start in the fourth quarter, and I'll wind up with that as a finish. And I know all our guys' names, and I know enough of the other teams' names that uh, I wouldn't be stymied for calling everybody Smith or something. <laughs> and uh, so I started in. I had the long blue shadows settling over the field and chill wind coming in through the end of the stadium. We didn't have a stadium, we only had bleachers. <laughs> but, uh, but you painted a good picture, yeah. huh? <laughs> Announcer's license. The thing I've always loved in telling that story was that I was a right guard, and on this play, I had to come back out of the line and lead the interference off tackle and take the first man in the secondary. And in the game, I missed it. I don't know how Bud Cole made the touchdown because I missed the key man right there in the, when he, where he's coming through. But in the rebroadcast, I didn't miss him. <laughs> oh, I laid a block into him. <laughs> Tackle of all tackles. <laughs> yes. That great. convinced Peter to find it. Thank you. This is wonderful to have. Well, it, you've given us an inspiration that John is starting basically a new business and just not to give up. To just keep working and look where you've achieved. You know, something to be very proud of. I'm very proud of you. Well, thank you very much. I can't wait to get into this. Good. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Nice meeting you, sir. Nice, nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. There. Oh, about that. Okay. All right. That's what he had just told me before, that he'd hired someone, not for sports, but to, uh, as an announcer. And as I was leaving the office, I said that to myself. That's he, great. He, he, Hi, Mr. President. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Good. I want you to meet an Oklahoman. This is yes. Carrie Wright. Yes. This nasty teenager. Well, very, I'm very honored to meet you. Well, I'm honored to have you here. Thank you. Have the rest of the fam family. There's Brian. Hi. Hi. Brian Wright. Carol Wright. Hello there. With John Wright. Hello, Hello President. All from you. Hi. President of so, Yes. Thank you. Well. Here we go. I think we ought to. a family photo, yeah. huh? Well, yeah. Some of you step over here. Okay. okay. Some on the right, right side. We'll do that then. Here, Carol. Yeah. Right. Well, all right. Shouldn't you get into the one? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Can I get on the other side? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Well, this has probably been a pretty busy year for you. Well, it's getting ready to be a very busy year. I'll start most of my traveling again this month, and then all the way until August. I'll be every weekend. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I think I can see why. I'm going to put with you, though. Well, we thank you for taking time. and, and well, listen, it's a pleasure. You can see why Oklahoma produces very pretty girls. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. Well, this will be an honor that I will always remember. Well, thank you for having us. Yes, thank well, you for I'm taking very... the time out of your busy schedule well, to I'm meet with us. Well, I'm very pleased to have you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ryan's a basketball player, Mr. President. He's he's got great basketball potential. We may see him playing for the Oklahoma Sooners one of these days. <laughs> How about that? Uh -huh. <laughs> and his father is, is a principal at a junior high in Enid, Oklahoma, and, and Carol uh, it works at the uh, Enid High School. Well, so. teaching French. Teaching French. How about that? So thank you very much. We appreciate you well. giving some time. We I've got a story I have to tell a French teacher here. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Baker, first time to ever be I'm about to shake hands with you. Yeah. My brother's from the future, Tennessee. Yeah. My brother's from <laughs> Mark, exactly Tennessee. Yeah, and Tennessee. you look a lot alike. We well, went across with his car on the drive. We had a few days before and, uh, I had to come back to I've always America. admired you. Oh, go down in the spring to the and south of France. And then I found out that neither one of them knew a word of French. They were there across the channel. I'd never been in France. And after two years of compulsory French, in high school, and, uh, it was up to me to be the <laughs> linguist, but this was many years <laughs> my high school days. And finally, I'm sitting there, now that problem comes up, we're driving down through France, coming to a town, how do we find a restaurant, eat lunch? So I, as I begin to think of words, I begin to come back, I begin padding my part a little, like kind of intrigued with the whole idea. <laughs> we pull into town, there's a gendarme standing there, I said to my friend, pull up. I rolled down the window and I said, pardon, monsieur, j'ai grand fan. Où est my café? And he told me. I told him, great, we're very hungry, and where was the best café? And my friend who was driving says, what did he say? And I says, I haven't the slightest idea. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded good. <laughs> I couldn't rehearse the question. There, or the answer, I mean, what the question? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. You're looking well. Howard, thank you. Hello, Good to see you. Good thank you, Mr. President. Howard Good. Baker. I'll keep nice to meet you. Senator yeah. Baker, Chief of Staff. Everybody's told me to kiss you. Mr. Carol Wright, and Carrie and Wright, Mr. Ryan. Ryan. Everybody knows right. how we're This is John Ryan. Hi. Right. We love you to death. Thank you, Chief. Good to see you. We've got all of the United States. You're looking well. Did you? Feel good. Thank you. 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 Thank you.